Hi, Jonathan Pickup. So welcome to this movie. We're going to show you how to make these room areas. I think these are really cool because each room has got its its area and its name and its number. And when we get to bigger projects, the room numbers become really vital when we need to do on-site management. So it's a good habit to get into to actually use the zones to create these labels. So let's learn all about zones and let's get started. In the last movie we got to this point here where we created the coverings for the walls and the roof. Now remember those coverings are only available if you've got the special CI tools. But what I would like to do is to, I'd like to go and have a look at how we can create room labels. Now my roof coverings are there, they're on a layer, so I need to go back to plan floor and my plan floor needs to hide my roof coverings. So there they are there. Let's just update that. Okay. And so there's my plan for my floor. What I'd like to do is to create labels for every room. Now ideally what we should do is to create not just labels for every room, but something that will give us the areas of each room. And the tool we use for that is called the zone tool. So the zone tool here, if I double click, here are my zone tool settings. I'm going to start with number one, and this is going to be a bedroom. Now you can choose the names from this list, or you can just add your own. We can have zones with, for example, gross area, the office area, I'm just going to choose residential and recreation. It's going to go to the inside of my objects. I can set an, a volume for this so I can actually link it to a roof. I can link it to my roof layer or I can have a particular volume. I can set it on a particular story. Now I've also told it here to give a solid line to the outside, solid line there, and to add carpet. Turn that off, turn it on, you've added carpet. So I'm just going to use a zone stamp. This is just a regular stamp that I've got here. It's got the room number, the room name and the area which is quite useful because what it's going to mean is that every room I'll know exactly how big each room is. We can look at the stamp text and we can choose what font we want to use. We can choose the size, whether it's bold, the site, the height and so on. I can go to the settings and I can actually choose specific parts. Now I want to keep this simple so we won't go to the settings. We'll just use what we've got here. Click OK. Now we're going to create our room areas. Now we could use our construction method here, the rectangular construction method. So snap to that corner there, snap to that corner there and click once to place our room area. And there it is. Now you will notice that my wall isn't square. It isn't exactly square. You will have noticed that when I created that area. My mistake, it's something I need to fix. Now there will be lots of these labels created. We're going to go back later and delete all of those. Now this time I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try using my flood. So if I use my space bar, you'll see that I actually get a filled in area there which makes it very quick. Then I can place that. There's another one here. I can place that one. This is an entire area through here. So I can click and place that as well. That one and click and place that one. Now this one here, it's going to try and fill in the entire area. So I'm going to have to go back to this mode and click there and there and place my object there. Now you can see because I placed this last the number is now out of sync. This is actually a bathroom so I'm going to choose bathroom there. This is an entry so I'm going to look for entry and if I can't find entry I'm just going to type it in here. Entry or hall some people call it. This is my kitchen. My kitchen uh, this is a bedroom here. This could also be a bathroom, a second bathroom, and this is a bedroom. So I've got those objects. Now these things here are labels. It's this label tool here. I'm going to select the label tool, select all. It'll select all those and just delete them. I don't want those parts. So you can see I've actually got all my areas named. I've got them all areas. So I could add all of those up, but I can also create a schedule, which is really important. So I'm going to use a schedule over here. This is my schedule object over here. So right click. I'm going to create a new schedule. I'm not going to give it an ID, but I'm going to give it a name. So this is my room areas. So elements and OK. So the element type we're looking for, I need to click here. The element type I'm looking for is a zone. So I need to choose zone for that. 
which is great so it's going to look for all my zones but I also need to create some fields or in other words I need to grab some information from these zones and report it that's what I'm looking for at the moment so let's add a field now there's lots of fields I can use I could use something like the zone number let's add that uh, the zone name is here I'm going to add that as well and also up here I'm going to look for something so area I need areas what have we got we've got this one here the calculated area so double click on that so I've got the zone, the zone number the zone name and the calculated area now if I want to move these around you can just drag those up and down and it'll reorganize stuff now when I click OK you'll notice that I've got a room areas here so I double click to open that there's my room areas so this is going to be have that and I'm just going to take away the word zone and take away the word calculator so it just says area but it doesn't give me a total so right click and scheme settings now the way I collect a total is with the calculated area here there's a little button here with a sum sign on it so it'll sum all those together click OK and now I've got my total area of my building I can edit these areas here I can reformat these if you like uh, let's make that bold let's make that area narrow and you can see it's renamed or changed the settings on all of these areas here as well these are all become Helvetica narrow these are going to be three high but you'll notice that that and these are all the same uh, they all become the headers so I can do the entire schedule I can do a value and so on so here uh, value I can change the values to three millimeters they will get slightly smaller and there's my areas and my total down the bottom grand total so let's change that to three as well and bold so we're underway with this we can put that somewhere on our drawing and there's my areas so you might notice that I've got these areas bedroom 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 and so on so number seven I need to renumber this and call it number two and that's going to be called bedroom two let's have a look here so we're going to go this is bedroom one uh, number seven I'm going to renumber this there's two and this is bedroom two so this bathroom becomes number three the entry becomes number four and I'm just typing in here this becomes number five it's just a quick way to go through and make these changes now I'm going to separate the kitchen into two areas so this is going to become number six this is going to become number seven there this is going to become number eight and uh, bedroom two so bedroom one bedroom two that's correct this is going to be bedroom space three and bathroom and cool okay so let's go back and have a look to see does this make changes to what I've done and you can see all my numbers have updated so this is my kitchen area what I need to do is I need to change the size of this or delete it draw some lines through here which would be another way to do it uh, my kitchen actually stops here and then I've got a dining area through there so let's try that again with the zone tool I can click here spacebar click uh, that becomes my kitchen let's click there and click there and add those together remember I can get rid of my labels and I can rename these either here 8 9 and 11 or I can rename them in my list up here so I can go up here I can rename this as a bedroom uh, this has become kitchen and this is my dining and my living and I've still got the same area if I go back to my floor plan you'll see that it's updated with my names so that's a great way to put our room labels in but we've got all these orange colors and if we choose our printing pen set we might find that they all go black which is not what we wanted so I've got a solution select the zone tool do control A or command A that'll select all of these zones for you control T it'll bring up the settings for that and we can look here at this part here where we've chosen to have a carpet fill and you could of course choose different fills as well 
uh, turn this off to choose what kind of fill you'd like. So you can have some areas that have got hexagon fills and some areas that have got bricks and concrete and so on. I've got carpet. But here's where the issue is. This one here, the color fill pen, what I need to do is to choose something like a white color fill pen. Something like this one. And when I click OK, we should see all of those turn up in white. And there they are. I just need to get rid of these lines here. I'll delete that one and that one. So we've now named our spaces. We've got an area calculation of all of our spaces. And all we really need to do is to make sure that when we set up our layer combinations, we've got them set up so that when we can choose plan floor, we can see all of these zones and we can see these objects. Now that's just one way of creating your labels for your rooms. It's a really good way of doing it, but the other way to do it is just to use the text tool and just place some text here. Bedroom 1. And click away from that and there we got Bedroom 1. Don't forget you can do that. Just be careful with these blocks of text. When you move these blocks of text on top of another object, sometimes they obscure it and sometimes you'll find that there's a fill behind the text. So sometimes you'll find that there's a solid color behind the text and that obscures what's behind there. So just be careful with that. Uh, this one actually was set to that amount there so you don't see anything behind that text. So that's the other way to do it. But my way actually gives you the room areas and it gives you a calculation that you can then put on your drawings and you can show to your client. So if you like these movies, don't forget to give them a thumbs up. It really helps other people to find these movies. And hit the subscribe button so every time I post a movie, you can see it. And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified. Thanks for watching.